Hello, this is Ingrid Auer. I'm very, very happy to have a nice guest, Becky Phoenix Dubro. She's an amazing woman, speaker, and teacher, and well known by many people all over the world. Hello, Peggy. Hi, Ingrid. Good to be here with you and all of those who have come in whatever now time they're here. <laughs> I have you met several times at the Cryon events in the US and I know that you have created a magnificent uh, technique, the EMF balance technique. I'd like to ask you to share with us what's about this, what can, who can use this, what is it for? Um, oh. <laughs> I know it's a big, 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 the big question. <laughs> but first, can I just say what a pleasure to get to know you better. When we're out there working, I've not always had the time to visit with you, and I've enjoyed getting looking at your website, getting to know you better, to see your body of work. How well, well done, well done, dear Ingrid. Thank you. And many and much more. And then I wish to honor your listeners. Each one of us has a piece of the puzzle. So we're learning what it means to bring our piece of the puzzle together so that we can make a more of an awareness of a whole life and, and why we're here. So the first thing you asked me about is the EMF balancing technique. And that began for me um, a good 30 years ago. And that work, I had no idea, would go international, would go around the world. And I didn't know it was going to be such a big body of work. And the EMF balancing technique, EMF stands for electromagnetic field balancing. And the basic theory with this is that human to human, we are low level electromagnetic fields. And this was before anyone was talking about EMFs. Um, Personally, I didn't like the name EMF balancing technique, but it's what I was given. And I was told that one day people would understand the importance of the electromagnetic field and our consciousness. But if I want to go back before the EMF balancing technique, this has all come from an experience I had of no beginning and no end when I was 22. At this particular point, I'm 66. And to me, that experience of no beginning and no end and the energy of infinite love is what changed me forever, blew me wide open. Energy was everywhere. I didn't know what to do with the energy. I spent 15 years being wide open, not being able to function here. Then I had an, another experience. And it's interesting. My first experience was very masculine. My second experience was very feminine. I went to a place where there were all these women and they, they were toning and there was this beautiful energy. And then suddenly I became this universal calibration lattice. It's an extension of our ch chakra system. It's, it's the foundation of um, how we can extend our consciousness and remain coherent. But after I had that experience and received that lattice, that or became aware of the lattice it depends on how you wish to say it that's when i was able to bring that energy of infinite love through so i just want to give there's one more piece of this then there came a point where people were saying to me they saw destruction in the world and i didn't see the destruction coming and this was before people were saying that we're we're going to make it through um and I remember telling people, I didn't see the destruction. As a matter of fact, what I saw with my sight is I saw this golden energy that we are, and I saw us sharing it, moving it, using it in ways we had not before. And what went off for me during that time was there is a time of grace. And I saw this golden grace. Mm -hmm. And I remember I, with all my heart, I said to the universe, I see this. And I said, how do we get this grace in here? I don't want to philosophize about it for the next thousand years. Mm -hmm. And out of that, the EMF balancing technique was born. Mm -hmm. And that work is a, a foundational energy work. Um, it takes time to learn it. If, if I had seen how much was to this work, I would have said, you've got the wrong, there's no way I can do this. It took 20 years to really get the whole thing through here. Mm -hmm. It's um, got 13 phases to it. People that study here in the United States, massage therapists can get credits. 
Uh, the work is in 70 countries. My husband, Stephen, and I have been in most of those 70 countries. I had no idea this work would go that way. What And all of this to tell you, and those of you who are listening, I followed the energy of love. And it leads me here right now to be with you, to be talking with people. And it brought forth that EMF balancing technique. Um, it's a body of work that is strong and beautiful. But I've, I've developed something else from that that can go even further out into mainstream because that's where we're going with our living life energetically aware. But the EMF balancing technique itself, human to human, the movements are very Tai Chi-like, the words are very conscious, and this is like speaking the language of energy. You, under, you know, when people speak, and I'm still, I'm speaking with my hand where I see, <laughs> but people make movements with their hands, they say certain words, or they'll speak in another language sometimes when they, they work with energy. The EMF balancing technique is working electromagnetic field to electromagnetic field, human to human, honoring one another, and working through the lattice. Mm -hmm. It's a it is. It's a beautiful body of work that's been recognized as complementary therapy in several countries around the world, including Austria. Mm -hmm. And it continues. We're ready to do a new growth. But this living life energetically aware, I realized that people wanted something a little bit shorter and easier to use. And so that also developed. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's really amazing. I like that. Uh, you got the information from from above, yeah. So you channel the information. It's a channel technique. Yes. And it's yes. and you are the the channel, and it is combined with your energy. With I also think with your experiences from past lives, because oh. it's no coincidence that you are the one who has brought it into this time, yeah? Thank you, Ingrid. When I first started doing the work, you take me back to a memory. People would come up to me and say, I remember we did this in Egypt, or they remembered we did it someplace else. And at that time, I, I was not with Lee Carroll, I wasn't with the cryon, and I really didn't understand what channeling was. But the work itself, and, and uh, what happens is I teach people how to do the movements, how to do the work so that when someone has EMF balancing technique, either if it's in Hong Kong or if it's in South America or it's, it's in Europe where, or United States, wherever it is, people know what they're getting. And so that work is, is a, has a, a structure to it. The other thing we're looking with that work is it creates this inner glow, this inner beauty. One of my, uh, students who's become a practitioner and she also became a teacher of this work and a teacher of teachers she actually has the emf balancing technique in a spa in norwich connecticut mm -hmm. and what i'm seeing now is that people are starting to value um not only this this thing we call external beauty but that inner glow and and i'm starting to see that care of self which i see you're really big on reminding us in the female body to take care of ourselves thank you ingrid the care of ourself uh, also includes this this inner sense of self and so when we do the emf we we also have we say certain things the work has been recognized i i was given an honorary membership to the integrative psychology institute um, international integrative psychology institute in moscow uh, people from all walks of life practice that work but i think what i wanted to say here is that just recently just last year i developed something called the emf energy balancing express and that's something people can learn online they can learn very quickly i use it myself mm -hmm. um, it because there's something i found in the realm of energy work when i told people uh, what i do um, because if I told them about the EMF balancing technique, it is channeled. It's, it's a, we start with one session. There's 13 different phases to it. We go through um, a beautiful transitional energy and the person constantly is being reminded they belong to themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, if, if, if you want me to go on, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are really, your energy, you're 
just there all bright and beautiful and you've opened up a door and you've said talk sister and I'm going okay yes. <laughs> I'm curious to learn about it <laughs> but it's very gracious very gracious and, and for your listeners I think they, they will enjoy this and I know that you face this too how do we speak to many more people and one of the things um with the EMF balancing technique people I'd be flying all over the world with my husband and they'd say you know what do you do and at first I would say I teach people about the electromagnetic field of their body how to work with this energy mm -hmm. how it helps us in our evolution and our well-being and it teaches us just how connected we all are Oh, people love that. They would say, wow, that really sounds important. Mm -hmm. I found, now this is for everyone who's doing their work <laughs> and who has something to offer. I found something else a few years ago. I started to say, people would say, so what do you do? And I'd say, well, I teach people how to master or at least manage their most precious resource, their personal energy. Mm -hmm. Well, people wanted to know right away, but I have this big esoteric body of work and a big esoteric website and they wanted to know more and what I realized is that people were asking for something that was quick and easy to learn powerful effective and what does that mean and I'm working on a book that will teach people how to live life energetically aware because I believe that that's what's really important that we start to pay attention to what that means for us and now I also have born of the EMF balancing technique or several things called reflections. There's an I Phoenix work. The EMF energy balancing express is supported by this beautiful foundational work that I'm known around the world for EMF balancing technique. But now we have uh, some other versions that can be used for people right away. And I tell you, I use the EMF energy balancing express for myself. Mm -hmm. especially when I find myself resisting things. How do I want to feel or I want to be making changes because this happens. We, if, if we're paying attention, we continue to evolve. And I love that body of work. I use that for myself along with all my other energy work I have. Mm -hmm. It's also shifting consciousness. Of course it's connected yes. also with consciousness, which is very important in our time not to stuck in the old energy or not to stuck in the old belief systems to go with the flow and to shift their own vibration and yes i really yes. like this i really like this um you also have actual new trainings about rehab in your way would you like to talk about this oh sure sure something i've started i've been been working my husband we've had some major changes in our life and my husband had some health challenges that were huge and um, it looked like he was leaving three times but he hasn't and he's here and I've learned we've both learned so so much I watched him develop this beautiful body of light and then his physical body wasn't quite coming into it. and then he he wound up where we again for any of you that do caregiving I know what caregiving is now I understand that but at the same time, something opened up inside of me and all this new information came through. And I've done a lot online of activations where I teach people to do certain activations. We did one called the Heart of the Universal Human. I have these online events now. I, I teach people from all over the world and actually the community loves it because we get to see each other. I give them these energy tools. We, uh, some of them, that they get trained and they get a certificate for them. Um, but we did the heart of the universal human. We did universal mind fusion. And the reason I'm backing up to that before I talk about the rehabit, because we are going to do rehabits actually coming up April 8th, we begin with a free rehabit. And then if people want to go on and take the training, there's April 15th, 22nd, and 29th that they can learn. First, they'll do it for themselves. And then they have a beautiful program to share with others. Um, but the universal, Universal mind fusion activation that was the new ways are within you and then there was another part the new ways are all around you so when we talk about consciousness mm -hmm. um, I think it's really important that we have a balance of knowing when to be still because we can be still and a lot happens in that stillness I know that and then when to take action and so it's like learning how to use our energy so that when we take action the action is powerful and directed and it's 
it's it's very helpful for us and all of us that are here now we're here to make the new ways and so this was born this rehabit that i'm doing coming up on april 8th on sunday uh, the free one was born out of the new ways are all around you and the new ways are within you because we're talking about how we the brain is not the only place where we think we have our heart and oh and another part of of what i've come to understand and i started several years ago is to teach that it's time for us to radiate from the solar plexus your sense of self integrated ego so it's transformed into sense of self but it's time to radiate from the crown from the heart and from the solar plexus mm -hmm. and what's really interesting is not about i guess about a year after i started to teach that Stephen runs into these all this stuff that happened in his solar plexus so i've had a chance to really see the physical the energies we're all working with this to wake up to bring the states of enlightenment or what it means to be a multi-dimensional being that energy is profound it's infinite love it's powerful it's all of us mm -hmm. and and i can feel your energy and i can feel the energy of those that listen to you and those you've been teaching and i'm i'm so grateful that there are plenty of us who are waking up and coming into this place. So I'm driven to make energy tools. <laughs> and, and it's like, I can't stop, it just comes through. And what I love is it transforms me. And if I wasn't doing this work, I don't know how I would have made it through all the changes that we've yeah. gone through, you know? I can imagine, yeah. Uh, another topic uh, which is very interesting for me is about the wisdom of feminine divine or divine uh, feminine. What's about this? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's interesting. I, I never really thought of publicly channeling, even though the work was all channeled. And Lee Carroll, who I've worked with for over 20 some years, um, he used to point and say her work is channeled. Her work is channeled. And then one day we in Australia and he puts a chair on the stage and he says uh, it's time for Peggy to grow he tells all these people in this room it's time for people he says it's time for Peggy to grow and he says come sit channel and <laughs> so he sat by me and I started and uh, what came out was the channeling of the wisdom of the feminine divine mm -hmm. and I love being in a woman's body um, I love being strong. My mother used to always say, you're from strong stock. The background is German and Italian. And um, I love being the mother of two daughters. Mm -hmm. um, I've always been aware of our strength and our resiliency and how important it is that the women come into their power now. And um, there's a channeling actually on my website uh, that Lee did in Hungary, where he talks about the spiritual teachers. And he says, and the woman who sits, he talks, he says, it's time for the women's spiritual teachers to come forward. But the, I wanted to share that when uh, my oldest daughter, Shana, was born and they put her in my arms, I was my first child. And, and I'll, I'll never forget what came out of my mouth was you were born female in a good time. Mm -hmm. And then I had a second daughter and I loved having daughters and I loved what I did in teaching them um, is I, I wanted them to show me who they were and I would support them in that. Mm -hmm. And um, it was interesting. My mother, uh, my father was a paranoid schizophrenic alcoholic and it was back in the fifties when there was no help. And my mom, she was ahead of her time. She, she went to school and became a nurse and she worked at nights to keep a roof over our head and and food on table and took care of us under such strong stressful circumstances and she did it mm -hmm. and and when she did it it wasn't popular for women to go out to work mm -hmm. and and women said things that were not very nice about her and but my mom was amazing and and i never forgot it and then when i became a mother i married when i was 18 but i didn't become a mother till i was 30 then i decided to do daycare in my home so i could take care of my children and and my husband worked and i that was my work and that was not popular then then it was women went out and they did their what was important in their careers so we both did things that were a little bit different no matter what it's it's we're coming into this beautiful time of women waking up and uh, honoring 
the energy of the wisdom of the feminine divine. When I first started channeling, I would call it the wisdom of the feminine divine. And then one day the energy came through and I said, I am the wisdom of the feminine divine in honor of the wisdom of the masculine divine. Mm -hmm. And then, and you can feel it, the resonance is more complete. Mm -hmm. So um, as we honor one another with the masculine and feminine and or as we're in these bodies that we call masculine or feminine, um, it really is time for that energy uh, to complete and help to transform what is here, very much so. Absolutely. And that's why you'll see more and more women spiritual teachers coming forward or, or teachers. I mean, at a particular point, I'm looking at how I can take what I have more mainstream mm. and and I tell everyone, we are all channels, learning to channel more of who we are. And people can accept that right away. Mm -hmm. So for yourself and for people like, like I, I know that you're so much more than these sprays. And the sprays are beautiful. And I've loved them. I think they're elegant. But I believe that um, you're, you're moving out there with all these different energies and all the different things you, you have to give. You're developing. The sprays are a way to say hello, mm -hmm. and they stand on their own, but there's more. And then the same thing with, with those who are listening. Mm -hmm. Dear sisters, you give what you have in a way to say hello. For me, Living Life Energetically Aware is a, is a book and a movement to say hello. Mm -hmm. to teach people that they can choose the energy that they are expressing, the energy they put in motion. And we start with, with the, um, we start with the emotions, mm -hmm. but I also go to the physical. Um, I've been vegan for three years now. I woke up one morning and just complete vegan, no cheese, no, no meat, no anything. It was like the energy came through. I saw the resonance of wholeness in the eyes of some animals I had been with and everything changed. Mm -hmm. And I think what's going to happen for many of us is that things are going to take some leaps. We're going to see some things and things are going to change very quickly. However, keep making the efforts. You do a lot of work, Ingrid, to be where you are, to do what you do, to make the things you do. I do too. So there's that balance. Um, those that are listening to this, the women that are putting in the effort that, that open their hearts and stand strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there, there's something, here's a message here from the wisdom of the feminine divine uh, in honoring those that listen, either in male or female body. Many come into a place of... Um, feeling very sensitive, like they're too open. And the question becomes this. Everyone, just take a breath. Are you ready to step forward to your next level of strength, or do you choose to shut down and close it off? And you can make that choice. You can close it all off, or you can open it up and move into the strength of what it means to live energetically aware. Sensitivity comes into strength sensitivity is not weakness mm -hmm. and the more we grow into that understanding the stronger we become because we are multi-dimensional and right away the energy of those that are listening there are some that are um wisdom of feminine divine is speaking so strong there are those of you that you know you have truth to give that there's much more to say it comes from the heart it has to do with your foundations and why you said yes to be here mm -hmm. And so in this time, as we speak, as you listen, whether it is in now time or in another now time, know that the energetic coherence that is appropriate for you to support yourself is available to you. Continue to grow, continue to learn, and know that it is always spiraling upward. And so as we honor the wisdom of the feminine divine, we honor the wisdom of the masculine divine, there is a union that brings that upward spiral it is the phoenix energy and that is honored in each one of you you continue to spiral and rise again and again the message that we wish to give is well done this is your moment you've been testing you've come along you're beginning to know what you know you know the more you know the more there is to know that will not stop you you will continue there is you're also going to notice the change to move from competition to co-creation 
We are co-creators and we are pleased from a multidimensional view to remind each one of you that that is the new status of consciousness that opens up the new doorways to the new love of empowerment for you would not have it be any other way. It is one where the greater the cooperation, the greater the power. And so we leave you with this message. There is much more that has been unsaid than said. The balance of knowing when to be still, when to take action, working with those who know how to co-create and honoring the wisdom of your own being as masculine and feminine. In the energy of infinite love, always. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> that wasn't on our schedule. <laughs> it's amazing. Before we started, we spoke about letting go, letting flow. So the energy came like a wave. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. <laughs> Peggy, I would like to stay in this energy and yes. like to finish our talk sure with these waves of love and uh, yeah. thank you so much thank you so much it's a pleasure until the next time ingrid until the next time honoring each one who listens may you remember more of who you are we may we all remember more of who we are infinite love thank you thank you thank you <laughs> bye bye, -bye.